say I'm shooting at everybody. Wait, what's going on? I'm stuck. Oh no, it's okay. Uh, we shoot at each other, but nothing happens. So now we should handle collisions. Collisions of missiles with these ships and collisions collisions of missiles with each other. So I'm gonna name the next group Colli collisions. Uh, come on, collisions. Okay. Uh, first of all, we have to handle explosions. This is the most interesting part because explosions are always very beautiful and nice, and everybody likes explosion. Explosions. So this would be small explosion. Small explosion. And uh, I'm gonna add animation to this small explosion. This explosion will be for missiles. When one missile. Uh, hits another missile. So I will also al only have um, like four frames for this. Okay, and I also have to add a behavior uh, fade because I want to be this guy destroyed uh, after he he's done his mission. And I also want to add a charge explosion. Okay, oh, well, basically I'm using the same sprites large explosion uh, I'm adding couple not couple I'm adding five frames and I want to make a better animation this explosions will be for our ships so it should look really nice because in this game we'll have a lot of explosions okay I think yeah, I, I think that this would be fine. Um, so let's handle collisions. We add sub event, and uh, this sub event, first of all, let's do collisions for green missile. Green missile, collision of. Uh, I wrote wrong. Oops. Uh, so let's handle green missile collision. So when green missile. Uh, is uh, overlapping another object. No, sorry, on collision with another object. This object would be red missile. Uh, we add action. First of all, we should destroy these guys. Destroy red missile. Destroy. No, sorry. First of all, we should we should create explosion. Add action. Uh, so red missile will spawn another object, and it will spawn small explosion. Okay, done. Yeah, by the way, I should also add fade behavior to large explosion. Fade? Okay. Okay, so uh, when green missile collides with red missile, uh, it creates an explosion. The explosion is small, and then we have to destroy both missiles because, because they are destructive. <sighs> okay, we've done this, and now I'm just going to copy this. And uh, change on collision with red guy. Okay. Um, red guy should spawn another object. It should spawn a large explosion. Done. And green missile should be destroyed. And red guy should be destroyed. Okay, now let's check what I have now. Okay, I'm flying, I'm shooting. And... Yeah, I can destroy these guys, and they cannot destroy me. <laughs> Take that, you pricks. Okay. Uh, well, now we have to handle collisions of red missile with the uh, green ship because we have the collision of uh, green missile with red missile. So red missile with green missile is pretty much the same. Now we're adding sub event red missile uh, on collision. With another object, this object would be green guy, and uh, green guy should spawn a large explosion. Fade, okay, and uh, and uh, red missile should be destroyed, and green guy should be destroyed, and everybody should be destroyed. So, actually, the game is ready now. So it's ready. I'm flying. I can shoot these red guys. 
and these guys can shoot me. Yeah, you see, I'm destroyed. Yeah, by the way, the the speed of these missiles is still too slow. Let's make 400. This will be more interesting. So now uh, I'm gonna handle a uh, scoring system and, uh, well, the game over <laughs> system. Uh, let's first hand handle game over. Uh, I don't know, wha what is it? Event or something. Uh, we add group, uh, game over, game over. Uh, okay, and um, I want to add a global variable. This would be game, uh, I'll call it game on. Um, this variable will, sh will show me the state of the game. So uh, let initial value be one. So on one, when, uh, when this uh, game on variable equal to one, uh, the game is on. When the game is equal to, game on is equal to two, game is over. But when the game is over, when red missile destroyed me, so when red missile destroyed me, um, we set variable, set value of game on to two, which means game is over. And in game over condition, we add uh, add sub event, and here we compare variable. So when game on equal to true, we add action, and I want to create another object for that. I want to create game over sign. Game over. Where is it? Okay, here it is. Mm. Sorry, I have to name it. Otherwise, I'll be confused. Game over. Okay, and when uh, when game on variable equal to true, I want this game over guy to set position right in the middle of the screen. Mm, 400, 300. Okay, let's check what we have now. Okay, so I'm flying, I'm shooting these guys, and boom, I'm destroyed. But you still see these guys appearing. Well, probably it's not a problem, let them appear. But uh, you can uh, do the, the, ne the following thing. Uh, as you see, these guys are spawned every two seconds. They are created. But you also can add another condition. This condition would be compare variable game on equal to one. So if game on equal to two, uh, these guys will not appear. Let's check it again. So I'm flying. Where am I? Yes, I'm flying. I'm shooting. Uh, I destroyed this guy, but boom, I'm destroyed. So no other red squares appear here. So it's it's a game over. And uh, now it's done. I'm gonna uh, add another thing. I'm gonna uh, handle uh, the restart of the game. Uh, you see, I get Maya over. Oh, come on. Uh, let me spell it again. So I want to add another sub event, and then I'm tired of talking. Sorry, guys. So on object click, this object would be game over sign done. I want to first of all reset global variables every variable is reset uh, and uh, set to its initial value and I also I want um, want to go to layout welcome so you can start the game again and now let's uh, let's have another couple minutes and handle scoring system I'm creating adding group scoring okay I'm creating a variable score what a surprise and uh, now in collision sections every time I destroy a uh, red missile I add action add true no add to score 10 points and uh, every time I create red guy uh, add to score 30 points but I also want uh, to have some some sign 
So here I, I add a text right here and uh, I'm changing the font and it would be white and uh, the font will be okay let's choose something funny like uh, come on let's let's choose Broadway and uh, the size of this font would be 24 okay now you can see it just ignore the the, the, the text uh, itself because we're, we're gonna change it right now I'm adding sub event and uh, on every X no not except every tick text set text to score and and uh, score so this is a text yeah we, we, we can add your score so in order to avoid confusion so this is your text and this is your variable score uh, let's check okay the game is ready so let's check what we have now is the final result your score is zero and now I'm starting to shoot these guys 30 points another 30 points let me yes okay you see uh, it disappeared that's because the the, the text uh, oh it's too small just increase it don't be afraid it, it, it doesn't harm you in, in any way so the game is ready you can now uh, fly you can shoot this object uh, objects you can add another stuff um, and as I said the amazing st uh, thing here is that you can spend all your time um, on animation and you can just forget about all this coding and stuff so hop I'm destroyed game over I flip game over and I can start the game again my score score is zero again and uh, the engine is really amazing guys if you have any questions please write them below in comment section uh, thank you this was Slava from Manual Games visit our site play our games and uh,